if you have a Ram 1500 equipped with air suspension and it's leaking, well, only when you drive on the highway you're saying it's leaking and the technicians can't prove that it's leaking. They're telling you, I don't know what you're talking about. It's holding the air just fine. That's because you're not checking it correctly. I'm also going to put in a video here showing where you need to check, but you need to take off this zip tie here on the rear airbags. And then you want to take off that cover bar right there. Take it off there so this is exposed and you're going to have to get down on the ground and dirty. I'm, I know that sucks, but. And you're going to spray soapy water right here when you remove this zip tie. And you're going to see bubbles come up from the seal when it's in aero mode or entry entry exit level mode. Basically you put your air suspension to the lowest level and then when that happens then you get to see bubbles right there. That's the little trick of these things. So everyone's putting all sorts of things in here. The valve blocks, air compressor which is back there. No, none of that fixes this issue. It's always these rear airbags. A lot of techs don't know this. I'm probably one of the very few that do know this. And I don't see any videos online with a clear explanation on how to repair this. But this repair right here is costing the customer $2,000 because of the air bags. Cost that much. So. Hope that helps. One last thing I forgot to add is you're going to need a nitrogen to fill up the air suspension reservoir because your air suspension lost all of its air. So these systems do need to use a nitrogen. They can take outside air from the air compressor compressing the air when they start leaking, but the correct way is definitely um, to fill it up with nitrogen. All serves procedure to do so because if you're just filling up with air, letting the compressor run like crazy, you might burn it up and it might cost you more money. So. I would recommend just going to dealership, get it done right, bite the bullet.